Okay, the vehicle we're going to do the spark plug change is a 2015 Skidoo GSX 1200 four stroke. So that's the body style that we're going to be going into to take out the spark plugs. Connect the battery. That'll be the very first thing to do, so you don't forget. We'll be taking all the electronics apart, so uh, you don't want any kind of problems with electrical in the future. So you put a 10 millimeter wrench on here. There's going to be a little bit of a block inside here that might fall out. So you just want to be careful of that, not to lose it. There it is there, cutting my hands. So you're just going to pull that out of the way. I'm going to put this back in like this so we don't lose it. Especially if you're not going to be able to do this whole job at once and you got to come back to it. At least you have some things together. Well, you know what? I'm going to put that there right now and deal with that later. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of electric tape in case I bang this against the frame of anything. That way uh, I won't have a short. So I'll just put some electric tape over there. Okay. So we're done there. Now that's disconnected from all the electrical with the battery. You don't have to worry about the, the red contact because you've broken the power through the system. Okay, the next thing you gotta do is you're gonna have to take the seat off because we're gonna have to get all these covers off. So the first thing you do is you pull back on this seat and there's a piece of white plastic here. You get your finger underneath this plastic. It's kind of tight. Lift that up, and then you just back up. slide this off. Now, this GSX has a heated seat, so there's going to be a wire somewhere underneath that's connecting the heated seat. And I believe it's right here. Okay, good. And you got to pop this off first. There we go. All right, the seat is removed. It's quite easy goes on the same way. You just slide it on these hooks and snap it down on that plastic there. Okay, that's step number one. All right, the next thing we gotta do is get the covers off. So, roll the straps. Open her up. one. Take this side off. Snap it, front one's off, sides, while you're doing this, it's best to grab the tool case, which I already have out, goes right here, All right, pull it up, take it out, roll that on your table, because you're going to be using that. All right, now, we got to take the gas cap off. So, unscrew the gas cap, we got to take this collar off. Okay, now we have the gas cap off, we got to get this collar off. Now, in your tool case, or the one I've got with this sled, you've got this tool. I have no idea what it was for, except I was thinking it goes to take into these holes to turn it on but it's not the right size, so I don't know what this is for. So, anyways, the way to do, I'm gonna do it is you got a hammer, you got something that's not sharp, but a small point, 
and you place it in here and then you're going to hammer behind it okay unfortunately i can't video with this with one hand so i'm just going to work through it okay so i've got to a point where it's almost loose just been nailing it hammering it with that screwdriver slowly turning it all the way around and it finally comes off okay so that's free all right so next thing we got to do is start separating the cover now there's a neck piece that goes here you got to remove that that comes out and this cowling goes all the way up to the front here and you're gonna have to pull and separate that okay the next thing we got to do is take the dash off so there's these two little tabs right here one's here one's there they're very small you just get a screwdriver in there and you push down on the plastic and down on the plastic over here and out it comes okay once again i'm by myself here so i'm trying to do this with one hand just pull it out like that okay and then you've got your plug to disconnect right there all right next thing we've got to do now that we've got the dash cluster out we need to take these side covers off okay so you have this side here that needs to come up that slide it forward a bit you're taking this whole section off so you gotta have to figure out how to get this right there so see how i pulled this loose that side loose you want to bring that up like that Same thing with this side. Pull it around. Like that. And then just back it off. Okay, now we've got that off. You have a boot here for your air box. You want to pull this back. Out of the air box. Like that. There we go. Okay. Things are starting to get a little loose now. Now, there's screws here to hold the air box to the headlight area and windshield. But these on mine are, are rusted. So I'm not going to take this off. And I'm going to keep the air box and the rest of the hood together to move back so I can look at the plugs. Now, what else have I got here? Something else seems to be holding it, I think. There's a strap. Forgot about the strap. Right at the very front, up in here, there's a strap to get. It's just a Velcro strap and it goes around the bar. Just put your hand underneath under the hood. There's a bar that goes straight across this way and there's a strap that's Velcro strap that just tied around it to keep everything in place. You undo that. And now the whole section, there we go, should come free. Just be careful. You don't want to break anything. You 
want to be able to pull this up and sort of now you can see the engine i'm going to put a support right here just to hold this out of the way so then i can work on the plugs okay now i've got the windshield headlight section and air box pushed out of the way this is all i could quickly find and it's a hockey stick so we're in canada eh? so that probably is the best thing to support this out of the way so now i can see one two three coils with spark plugs inside okay so the next thing i gotta do is figure out what fits that and start taking these off okay so this looks like what i need it's called a t30 i believe it fits you're just going to get on to here and unscrew now i already loosened it a bit because i was checking but that's what you got to do just unscrew that unscrew this guy you're going to have to try to figure out how to get in here behind this here and we can get in there as well so here i'll crack it there all right so we're gonna get these three off also i'm gonna disconnect each connection to start getting the coil out okay i've got the screw out now you're just gonna pull the coil up straight out of its boot and take it out of the engine okay that's what it looks like okay as you can see way in there there's a spark plug right down there okay the coils are out and i've got them in order over here right middle left all right, just to backtrack a bit, I'm gonna take this center plug out. We're gonna take off the coil. I'm gonna get the screw out. There's the screw. Okay. Unplug it. Pushing down the top. Pulling back, there we go. Pop the coil up off the seal. Remove the coil. Okay, so now I'm going to use the spark plug kit that came in with the, with the, uh, the bag. The tools that came with the snowmobile, just to show you. There's two ends to it. There's a big end and then there's a small end. It's the small end for this snowmobile you use. So you just get that, drop that down. And there we go. And then you need the other extension. Which I should have done first, but easy enough. It's tall enough. Get that in here like this. Man, that's it. I gotta get that in. Take a pause. Okay, so I hammered just the uh, the le extra section, larger one, so I have a longer handle. This is something you could do if you were stuck on a trip. I probably wouldn't do it on a trail, but you could do it once you're uh, in. To, uh, your lodge or whatever so I'm gonna crack it there we go unscrew it only to a certain point you want to just get it loose because you don't want this the spark plug to fall in there incorrectly and then you can't get it out so then I get back to the coil right drop the coil down nicely 
get it on the spark plug and then take it off this way with this coil because now you've got the proper suction around the coil to lift the spark plug completely out of the head. So I'll just spin that. Once you see the coil not really unwinding upwards anymore, you know you've got the plug all the way up. And that should be good. Let's give it a shot. And there it is. You got the spark plug out. All right, so now I've got a new spark plug, brand new. Just put it in the boot, bring it down, spin it down. You're not gonna be, of course, locking it in with this. You just want to get it threaded properly and down. Remove the coil. Go back to your tools from the snowmobile. Put this down. Make sure you've got it on there. And I can tighten a little bit more down to now you've got it down to the washer. You just want to be able to seal it. Now I'm sure there's a certain pounds per square inch you're supposed to do this on, but I'm just going to make sure that that washer is completely seated. And you just want to get just so it stops trying to turn and you do a little bit more force and that's about all. And then finally, you put this coil back down, replug it up, put all the covers back on, and then give it a start. All right, well, thank you for watching the entirety of my video. Hopefully it wasn't too dull and you fast forward to some of the boring spots. But these are the tools I used, okay? So I did use some of the kit that comes with the skidoo. Of course, spark plugs, the T30 to take the uh, coil off. And to get into that last plug, it took me to use all of these things, not including the, uh, the tape for the battery and the scissors, but I had to use those extensions and uh, those pliers because the pipe there, by that third plug is right in the way. And so when you lift that up, you can get the coil out, but you can't get a proper uh, spark plug removal down there. So I just dropped, um, starting with short to tall, cracked it, and then I ended up using the coil to bring it back up. So that takes a bit of time. And then in the end, I ended up using the pliers to pull the, uh, the socket out. Okay, so thanks again. But these are basically all the tools I used. And I hope you have a great time sledding. Thank you.